my people how you doing um just a quick one i'm out on a photo shoot which hopefully you should see soon or you might have seen or it will be coming up just doing a, a five six minute exposure so whilst i'm waiting for that a couple weeks back i was down uh, man sands doing a photo shoot is it just it was a flat boring day but anyway i had to do a multiple exposure i had to do it as they, what they call an hdr i suppose i had to take three exposures because the sky was quite bright i wanted to get the detail from the clouds and there was a rock in the foreground which was in shade so it was the face that was facing me was quite dark so i took three exposures to get all the information that i could to make or develop a, a decent shot um, i got three exposures one was slightly underexposed one was slightly overexposed i suppose and one was kind of the mid-range um, and then i took them back into lightroom to develop them um, the reason i took three shots I, I think of a shot like that where the, the dynamic range is so high and what i mean by that is from the really bright sky to the to the darkest parts of the shot that's in shade that's that's quite a really high dynamic range to deal with so that's why i took multiple expo exposures at different shutter speeds so i've got more information if you think i've got one picture which i'm trying to edit they say that much information if i've got three pictures information to edit i've got that much information so i think of it as like making a cake the more ingredients you got the more you've got to make a better picture that's the way my brain works anyway um, so instead of taking one shot with a little bit of ingredients i took three shots of the same scene different exposures now i've got lots more ingredients to take back to the computer lob in and make a better shot here it is enjoy without my ugly mug in the shot back in the warm got a brew sat in front of the computer going to edit my three shots to make a half decent shot um, i'm in lightroom here and top right hand side as you can see here library module now if you look down on the left here i've got three shots that's my first shot i'm not going to bore you with shutter speeds and apertures and all the rest of it basically you can see from that shot that i've taken that to retain detail in the sky so that's brilliant that frame there i've got all the detail i want in the sky and then if i come across to this shot but you can see that that this rock there's no detail there at all so this particular shot when i was when i was framing up the shot and thinking of the shutter speed i was just thinking right i want to retain all the detail in the highlights which is all the sky really bright so i like that sky all i'm doing with that frame is looking at the sky i want to take the picture for that sky sort we've got that one in the bag and then this shot here the sky is now overexposed but i've got detail in this rock which is what i want now if i was to edit just this picture i would get all this detail in the rock lovely but i'd have no detail in the sky because it's overexposed as you can see from my histogram up on the right here look, bright to the right dark to the left and if i go back down here to my original shot for the sky brilliant if i edit this shot for the sky but i can't really pull these shadows up it's just too much to ask so i've taken that first shot detail for the sky that shot there detail for the rock and i always for some reason i don't know if i'm old school in the old days we used to take three three exposures to mix one in the middle for kind of mid tones best to have it extra shot more i think i think of this is like making a cake the more ingredients you've got the better the cake's going to be so instead of having just one batch of ingredients i've got one two three batches of ingredients to stir up and make me cake so basically down on the left highlight the first shot then i press my command button on my mac highlight number two highlight number three so that's all three pictures highlighted and then i go up to photo photo merge hdr click it now you can see all it's doing is generating a hdr whilst it's doing that actually i will say if any of these pictures need noise reduction doing to them do that before you run it through the HDR merge because when you merge three pictures to HDR it spits out a DNG file and you can't denoise a DNG file in Lightroom at the minute so yeah if you if, if you need to get rid of any noise in your shots quickly do that before you merge them in Lightroom right it's done that um starting from the top auto align layers just in case I know you've taken your shot on a tripod but just in case he's moved a little bit Tick that one there that will align the shots 
Auto settings, I leave that. Don't tick that. I just just don't don't do that. Um, the ghost amount, I keep that on medium. Show the ghost overlay. I don't really need to do that. Don't want to create a stack. I just want it to spit out one DNG file with all this information. Go down to merge. Click on merge. And then down the bottom here. In a minute, it will spit me out a DNG file. You can see up here, look, creating HDR. I'm going to do all this in real time. I haven't got the quickest. In fact, I don't know what how old my Mac is. 2022, something like that. Um, so there you go. It's spat out. See, DNG. See that this here, if I click on this here, see it's a CR3. It's, it's, a, it's a raw file, IMG being the Canon. But if I click on this, it's HDR, but it's a DNG file. So now, click on that bad boy, go up to develop, and basically, I've got all the information from these three in this one file. So it doesn't look brilliant at the minute, but I know that all the information from these three is in this file. And just a really, really quick edit, all I'm gonna do now, this isn't how I'd normally edit, but just to show you that everything's here. Sky, quickly drop these highlights. Bit of detail in those sky. Go up to my mask, select sky. That's done a real bad job. Look, look, it's, it's bled over all over here. So sometimes what I might do is I'll go up to intersect mask with, and I'll go back to sky again, click that, and hopefully it will tidy it up a little bit. Uh, not bad. That's good enough for now. Um, and then go to me highlights again, drop them down a bit, or you can drop the exposure down a little bit, or you can come down to clarity. Let's bung that up a little bit. Get a bit of punch in the sky. DAs, knock him up a little bit. Ooh, see, detail in the sky, love it. Right, um, come back out of that. Shadows, let's lift the shadows, so hopefully now the detail in this rock will come, come forward a little bit. Shadows, da, 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 da. look at all the detail in the front of that rock. Look at that, beauty. So basically, if I go down here before and after shot, what have I literally done? I've done one mask on the sky, um, I've lifted the shadows, what, been on this shot for 30 seconds? Go down here, before and after, look at that. Look at that, that's the before shot, that's the after shot. All that detail's there now. In fact, if I zoom in here, this should look 100%. There's no digital noise there, is there? Look at that. And there's not much of a halo around here. I think that's quite tidy. So people, oh, that's it now, I can crack on. Obviously, look at the state of this. And being a numpty, I left my, um because I was recording a YouTube video at the time, I left that down there. So I'm going to have to clone all that out. But I'm going to do a little video on the remove tool in Lightroom because I'm absolutely amazed with that. So probably the next video, or if you look back, I'm going to use the remove tool on this shot to get rid of all these footprints. Um, so that would be the next video or the next couple of weeks or something like that. But yeah, that's it. Look at that. How quick was that? Easy peasy. So basically you highlight your free photos, you go to photo, photo merge, HDR, let it do its thing, it will spit out a DNG file and then you can just crack away, you've just got so much more dynamic range there to play with. Cool, hope that helps anyone, that was really simple, easy peasy. I don't normally do videos like this because I'm not a great editor, there's people out there that have got a major cool editing skills, I'm just a simpleton. Um, but yeah, go on, hit a like button or hit some buttons or something, or watch this video or that video. Have a good weekend. Cool. Cheers. Bye.